Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear okay. you. Good Thank you. Good evening to all Zoom participants. Please mute your mics and block your camera. Thank you. My name is Deborah Bass and I'll be your moderator for this class. Welcome to another lecture given by the members of the North Carolina Bible class. This is a school and not a church and neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a nonprofit, non-denominational non-denominational, religious, and scientific research organization dedicated to showing proof of the existence of Yahweh our Elohim in the operation of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision and revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. We, we hold classes in the United States, Canada, and certain other foreign countries. The Charlotte, North Carolina Bible class was established in August of 2020. In this school, we used the true, correct, and original name and title of the Father, the Word or Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name, of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted by law. The true title of the word or son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. It has been erroneously substituted by Jesus Christ. Lord and God are titles and not names. The apostle Paul filled with the Holy Spirit tell us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. But we now know that each law must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means that Elohim is the title that our creator chose for himself. Jesus is a name, but it is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part in a good dictionary or encyclopedia will prove that neither the Hebrew language, Greek language, nor the Latin language have any characters or letters in their alphabet that will produce the sound that is made by this letter J. Neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1400 years after the Messiah's death. Therefore, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true and original name of our Father and His Son. Christ is a title, just like Lord and God. Yahweh is pure spirit, and in this state, he is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh in his pure spirit state, symbolized on this chart 
as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose a cloud to symbolize himself because the cloud has no particular or descriptive shape or form. We have drawn this cloud all around the edges of this chart to show you that everything on this chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Yahweh knowing that man could not perceive of him in this pure spirit state, took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the word or son, a super incorporeal being that is having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. This form could only be seen in divine visions and understood in divine revelations. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in a physical body and walked the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah, whom the world called Jesus Christ. Now there is only one name given unto salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question that we should ask ourselves is, what is the name of the savior during the time he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title may be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also at this school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern because it is Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him the tabernacle pattern in a vision. Yahweh instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. The pattern consists of a most holy place, holy place, and a court round about. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. In this school, we show proof that everything in the universe is made and operates according to the structure and function of this threefold tabernacle pattern and that absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. Our primary constitution objecting and aims of the Bible class are as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is and actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua Messiah without the distinction of race or nationality, creed, sex, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit laws or so-called law of nature and the powers latent in man. Four, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religion, psychology, philosophy, and modern practical and occult science. Fair, to extirpate current superstitions, skepticism, and ignorance. Six, to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose, 
through the dispensations and ages. Seven, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons operate in the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eight, to earnestly contend for the common salvation in faith, which was once delivered unto the sons or children of Yahweh. Nine, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained, there is none other name given among men whereby man can be saved, saving the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Ten, to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watchword is peace and our slogan is speak the truth. We'll have a prayer this evening given by Dr. Marshall Land. Good evening, class. May we bow our hearts and minds and thank Yahweh this evening for allowing us wake, to wake us up this morning in our right minds and to continue to praise and glorify him and thanking him for allowing us to come together one more time and asking him to make this gospel a fire within us and open our ears and eyes that we may hear what you are saying this evening. And with all that, I want to thank Yahweh, our Father, through his son, Yahshua the Messiah, his, our Savior. Let everyone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Dr. Lynn. A reminder to the Zoom participant. Please stay muted and camera blocked. Thank you. It is an honor and a pleasure to call on our founder and dean, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley. We will be listening to SoundCloud number eight and six tonight. Dr. Kinley. Beginning of my vision or at such and such a time, I had a vision. <coughs> now this was back when the book was written. And the book is eternal in the message that it contains. Now it just stands to reason that if the Father chose to make things known to man through visions in those days, that that would continue. Yeah. The reason Moses and uh, Noah knew that the flood was coming was because he had a vision, and it was real. He preached for 120 years to the four corners of the earth. He saw something. Our founder, Dean, also saw something. He had a vision and a revelation. You can see the result of it depicted on these charts. You study these charts, that book, the Bible, will be unlocked for you. All the, the keys to understanding are on these charts here. Our first speaker of the evening will be our founder, Dr. Henry C. Kim. Uh, I was glad Let us go into the house of Yahweh. <laughs> Whenever there is an opportunity to learn something about the true deity of this universe, I think we ought to take advantage of that opportunity. 
It doesn't make so much difference about who it comes from, just since it comes. And then I have told all of you, uh, ever since you have been knowing me, study everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. It makes no difference what it is, what doctrine, uh, what philosophy, atheism, agnosticism, see? Uh, just study everything. Don't, don't let nothing lie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know uh, whether you all have just obeyed that or not, but nevertheless, I do want to say right here, as strange as it may seem, I have did just exactly that. Mm -hmm. And you are not going to come up with nothing new. That's right. Nobody. That's right. I'm just not going to do that. Now, this is almost a criticism. And I'm sick and tired of getting up here saying Now, what you see pictured here, and what I have been trying to tell you or explaining to you, of course, some of you know that, is <coughs> not some philosophical concept, some hallucination or imagination that I, as your founder and being, have been trying to tell you something about. That, that's not what this is. Right. And I want to make, make this clear again. <clears throat> See, I want to make it clear. I have had a vision and a revelation. I talk with the Creator. Mm -hmm. See, I know Him. Now, first thing somebody would say, now that's a lie. That's only natural for people to say that. And if they're not going to say that, they don't believe it. Well, this is what I've asked you to do through these 38 years. <clears throat> if since I made a statement like that, it's your job and your responsibility to make me prove. Mm -hmm. See? Just getting up saying something don't mean anything to me. And it shouldn't mean anything to you. Now, let me say this. Sitting in this audience and elsewhere uh, around the United States of America, there are educators sitting in this audience and elsewhere in this uh, in this country that have sat under our teaching, and they are out of every sect, cult, denomination. That you want to name it really does not make any difference. <laughs> it don't make any difference. And now somebody might not understand that unless you name some of it. Well, we've got them out of the Roman Catholic Church and out of the Protestant churches too. Then, for fear that somebody might think again that. Uh, we're confused about the issue yet. You see? I want to tell you to begin with Christian doom is a profound failure. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now we're not going to make any bones out of that. So you're just going to say it right out flat. It's a failure. Roman Catholics and Protestants, neither one, do not know what they are talking about. Right. They don't understand what they're talking about. That's right. 
And when I say that, listen, I don't want you to misunderstand. I mean from the first chapter and the first verse and the first sentence in your Bible from there on to the back. That's right. <laughs> they do not know anything about it. That's right. right. Now, somebody would be persuaded. See, out of some of these churches, to say, well, now I know that's about it. <laughs> I admit that it does sound like one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit that. See, it, it, it does sound like one. But the real truth about it is, and that's one of the reasons why we had uh, them to read where they read at in the Bible. One of, one of the reasons. Now, don't you forget, I told you that I was caught up in the heaven itself. And I was chosen. And I've been saying this for 30 years until I'm getting sick of it myself. And just to say that don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I want to let you know too that the arm said, I never went to school. Now, sitting right in our audience, I want to repeat this so we can get straightened out. Because oftentimes when you move on, somebody's got the wrong conception. Now, here, how plain you talk. That's right. That's right. How plain you speak. That's, that's we have people sitting in this audience and elsewhere around over the country. And we do mean the doctors, the medical doctors, and the patients. That every known kind of a disease, known to man, has been healed. And there isn't anybody in this building that don't know that me as a man, I simply cannot do that. I can't do that. Even Yahshua the Messiah, and you know where it's Christ himself, he said, I can of my own self do nothing. My father in me, he doeth the work. Now, if he couldn't do it, see, neither can you. Get the point? There is no such thing as a divine healer on this earth. Mm, that's right. That's right. Now, it looks like what I have already stated is, is misconstrued. I just got through telling you there's people sitting here, and the doctors too, and the patients that they healed of every kind of a disease. Right. It went so far even to raise some from the dead. Now, what I'm trying to get over to you is this. You know that what I am talking about, see, is impossible for any man to do. There must be. The creator must be involved in it. Yes. Do you all understand me thus far? Now, I told you I had a chart, a vision, and a revelation. Now, here, this is what we have here. We have pictures it all around. Right. And you have studied. And it's been in the colleges. It's been in the universities. It's been in the educational institutions. And this one right here is a bed sheet. And it's older than a lot of people in here. Mm -hmm. It's about 37 years old. And I'm sure we have some folks in the audience that isn't quite that old. Mm -hmm. And with opening it up and rolling it up and down, 
as it, ha as it has been done so many times. You see, I don't think you could hardly find one. I don't care what you paid for. <laughs> that will last any longer than uh, 37 years. I don't care whether you got any sears or anybody else. So there's something great story behind that. Yes, it did. But I don't want to go into that. See? Uh, now, I was instructed, see, uh, you say God. I was instructed, I, I try to talk so you can understand, I was instructed by God himself to make this work you're seeing around here. Mm -hmm. They didn't make it all more. <laughs> and I'd like to go further and make this statement. There hasn't been anybody from anywhere regardless to their particular denomination, sect, cult, creed, or religion that ever understood it that was able to deny it. That's right. That's right. Can't do it. I remember what the president said one time. Uh, when he uh, first began to study around uh, 36 or 37 years ago, or shortly after this topic made. He stood up to it one time and he looked at it. And he said, now that thing will take your picture, won't it? I mean, it's in with. Your picture is on. That's right. That's right. That's the truth. Yes, it is. That's the truth. That's the truth. And I want to tell you this, there is nothing in this physical universe, the physical parts of this universe, there is nothing in it that it doesn't deal with. Now that includes you. Okay. You take your part. Cell at a time. Adam at a time. You understand? Now you can't argue with it. You see? You just can't argue with it. That is, if you understand it. Of course, if you don't understand it, as one person said, when they looked at this chart over here, this is what they say. That that looks like scrambled eggs to me. <laughs> See? Of course, they have teachers too here. But that's what they said when they first seen it. <coughs> but they changed that story. That's right. <laughs> and we have some here that come and they looked at it and said, well, we agree on all this back here. And but uh, uh, they are from from the but from here on. That's why we don't get along so well. See? Now here's what they didn't know. That if they agreed with with this back here, mm -hmm. see, he was he was oh, captured man. over here. Now he didn't know that. But he found that out, didn't he, Dad? That's right. <laughs> now here's such a medical doctor. We asked him to give a lecture on childbirth. See, when he first got into the school, and he obliged. <laughs> and when he finished up, see, well then we took this, did this work, and we went right into it. See, now y'all have heard his, heard, heard his own testimony many times. <coughs> right? Right. Mm -hmm. See. So now, what I'm saying, I'm saying for the benefit of those that are here the first time and don't don't understand. Yeah. Now that's what I'm saying it for. Mm -hmm. See. 
otherwise uh, I wouldn't be making these statements. Because I want you to be familiar with what's, what is up here on these charts. Now, not only that, I would say this, just kind of try to attract your attention, get you to pay attention. There has no major catastrophe or event that has happened in the world, anywhere in the world, where we didn't tell you about it in advance. Mm -hmm. And then on top of all that, we told you, now if it don't happen, mm -hmm. like we tell you, don't come back no more because there won't be no more school. Mm -hmm. We're going to fold the thing up. Mm -hmm. We're going to quit. We ain't going to have no more school. Now that sounds fantastic too, don't mm -hmm. it? But it's all right up here. <coughs> Every bit of it is right up here on, on these on these works. <coughs> and you yourself in your in your own body. You've been into it many times. Now, <coughs> let me go on with this uh, idea, this thought. Nobody uh, would hardly try to make a suit of clothes or anything, you see, without some measurements or without some kind of pattern. You wouldn't do that, would you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know people that good done a lot of things, but I'm talking about doing the thing right. Yeah. Well now, if you will look uh, in the 25th chapter, now I'm going to stick to this book. Uh, in the 25th chapter, uh, now don't you forget, I told you, you don't overlook this one. I'm going in the Bible now. But don't you overlook the fact that I told you that the King James Version and the Vulgate, which is the Roman Catholic Bible, and them, all of them on top of it, see, was wrong. Don't forget that now. Don't forget that. See. Then somebody would say, well, what are you going in the Bible for? I didn't say the Bible was wrong. It's what the translators put in it that's wrong. You understand? And it's misleading. Yeah. And you can't get the truth out of the King James Version or the Vulgate. And the reason why you can't is because it's not in there. All right. Now this Bible we're reading out of, and some people would say, I knew you had uh, 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 one of them new Bibles and all them different kind of things. See, no, let's, let's straighten that up too. Mm -hmm. See, this is the original. In other words, what is in this book, see, what is in this book, is that which is put back in it where it belongs. Mm -hmm. right. Them books you got, uh, King James Version and uh, uh, all them kind of uh, different ones, see? See? Those are the new ones. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. This, uh, as, as, the, as the moderator, get up here and tell you, Yahweh is the original name mm -hmm. of the Bible. <laughs> I mean that Moses No everybody <coughs> say Eloi say and Yahshua the Messiah, not Jesus Christ. See. 
Now, is it clear? Mm -hmm. Now, I, what I'm after now is going in this Bible where they have put the original name, Hebrew name, back in. And Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. Now, listen, somebody get me wrong there, too. Somebody said, well, you mean to tell me that Moses is the author? I didn't say that. I said he wrote. All right. Okay. <laughs> See, it's so easy to misunderstand. Right. See, here's the author. That's right. Yeah, That's right. That's right. But Moses just wrote down what he saw in the beginning. Get the point? So he's the author. Not me, not Moses. It's gone. Now, I want you to read the 25th chapter of Exodus in the 41st. 8th chapter of Hebrews in the 5th verse. And look that thou make all them after their pattern. Now, now he, what he is telling Moses here, uh, he's telling him about this tabernacle. <laughs> That's what he's telling Moses about, this tabernacle that he saw in a vision. You better get this thing off of you. Because uh, if I get in a hurry, which I don't want to do because I'm, I'm conscious yeah. mm -hmm. that we do have some new people in this audience and I am anxious for them to, to understand. Yeah. Yeah. That is my mission in this world. Other than that, I don't even care nothing about living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. That's what I came in the world for. See, and I don't care nothing about <laughs> nothing else in it. Well, the thing is what I'm telling you. That's right. Not interested in a thing. See? Okay. And let me, while I'm, while I'm on that score, I think I ought to take this. Let him talk. Before you read any further. I could have been, if what I am telling you now wasn't the truth, mm -hmm. I want to let you know I come to Los Angeles in 1958. And I could have been a monster millionaire back in 35, long before I came yeah. here. Then I've had millions of opportunities. Mm -hmm. And you just can't pay me. That's not my mission. Mm -hmm. See? So I don't want nobody to think. This, they hadn't, had to do, in all the 38 years that I've been teaching, that's supposed to have been with me, haven't you? Have you ever known? Anybody at any time during these 38 years, and we've had better than 350 people, and you ever see them take up a collection for me? No, sir. Have I ever been on any payroll? No. Have I ever drawn a salary? No. Have I ever drawn one cent? Now, I'm proving to you that I'm not interested in nothing but you. See? And you can't, you can't entice me with no kind of money. Because I've been off to, off to and you sat and seen them off me? Millions? You see? That's too cheap. Mm -hmm. That's right. 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 That's
And the birds, they have nests. But the Son of Man don't even have nowhere to lay his head. When they buried him in Joseph's new tomb, they had the boys. They don't know real estate. Right. That's right. And yet he was the creator. Yeah. Incarnated in the whole family. Do you understand? What did he come for then? He come to seek and to save that great was lost. Who's lost? The Father now. It's the man that's lost. Right. Right. Come seeking nothing else but that. And that's the reason why I said you ought to go. That's my only mission and my only concern. See? You know what I found that out though, but you let me know. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I'm deeply concerned too. Now you have uh, Exodus 25 40 and, and Hebrews 8 5. And look that thou make them after their pattern. And look, see, Yahweh is telling Moses, uh, why are you up in this mountain? See, he's seen a vision of this is just like pure spirit. <laughs> See, you can't sit. Now, this is the cloud. See, they brought him up out of the land of Egypt. And out of the house of Bob. And now, here, it is over Mount Sinai. And Moses has gone up into that mountain. I have to kind of cut this up kind of short. Because I, I want you to see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, Yahweh who is the Father, nobody has ever seen him at any time. It's a matter of absolute impossibility. Mm -hmm. Now here's why. See, you can't get outside of him to look back at him. <laughs> For it's in him you live, and you move, and you have your being. <coughs> See, and listen, he is spirit. Now, I had to do something about that. This cloud symbolizes the realm of eternity, that Moses is up, up here in the mountain. And he is seeing a vision. He's seeing a vision of him, see, Yahweh, symbolized by the cloud, has taken on uh, a body, see, and that body is this right here that we are telling you about. The Lord. Now that is not a physical body. You cannot see that with your eyes. You can't see this or the body, and neither can you see that with your physical eyes. See? So Moses is seeing it in a vision. Atop Mount Sinai. Now, if you're real smart, see, Mount Sinai is in Arabia. Yeah. Now, I've even told you the geographical location. See, of where the man had to be. See, now he sees it in, uh, see, and then he's transformed into this tabernacle. And that's this tabernacle here. And now what you're reading there, he's telling Moses yes. to see to it that you make all things that I showed you in the mind according to the pattern. You see? Now if you fail to do that, then you've messed up. Every animate and inanimate object in the universe. That's what you did. And you don't have nothing to go by to prove nothing with. See? Now that's over there in Exodus 25 and 40. He's telling to make it, make it like, like he sees the, the pattern that was shown to him in the mouth. 
So now when Moses came down out of the mountain, you see, at the proper time, and I don't have time to go into all these visits in the mountain, you know, I'm, I, I'm trying to get at a direct point. See, he made the tabernacle a tangible, a physical tabernacle like the one he saw in the vision. This is an intangible and this is a tangible. Say, you understand? See? Now, let me tell you about this uh, uh, tabernacle. You can see it here. You see, it, this is the exterior of it. This is the interior. You can see the interior of it there. Here, by taking this, this is the most holy place, the holy place, and the outer court. This is the most holy place, the holy place, and the outer court. See? Now here, it's the most holy place, the holy place, and the outer court, the court around the back. You see? In other words, that's threefold. You see? And he cautioned him when he was about to make. Now, you make sure you make it like I told you. Uh, yeah. Of course, now, they, he had some uh, uh, construction workers down there yeah. that knew more about how to fix it than what the boss did. They told him how to fix it. <laughs> see? <laughs> so he did, Moses just said, now, look, whoever's on the Lord's side, I'm just talking so you can understand, he drew a line. Said, uh, now you get over here, and all them's on Aiden, Dayton, and Cora's side. <laughs> See, you get over there. Yeah. See, we don't want to argue about it. See, Moses has seen this in the vision. Yeah. And listen, I mean to tell you, he was by himself and alone. Yeah. Nobody on there seen it but him. Yeah. <laughs> he was the first and only man there was in the world yeah. up until that time that had seen it. All right. So he cocked it now to me. Threefold. Now here's what that does. You see, by making it threefold. Had a most holy place. You can see it better on this one. And we like to use this one. Most holy place, holy place, and out of court. Now this is called the pattern. See? Now, this is what this does. See, this takes your picture. This is the Creator Himself transfigured into this. Right. Now listen, He Himself is the archetype or the original pattern of the universe. Now listen, nothing in the universe makes no difference what it is. Can get away from that. Say, including you. Now let's let's take a little uh, research. See, modern research. <laughs> See, now we say, well, now we're going to look for uh, atomic. Yeah. See, atomic research <coughs> in the basic particles of matter, ninety-two. See. Understand? And 91 of them have the proton, electron, and what else? A proton, a neutron, and an electron. You see? That's what it has. See? Now you have here the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. I'm talking to so people in the Bible, the people that's got King James Version. See? You got the Father. Sound of the word and the Holy Ghost. See, these three are one. One what? Just like you are numa, psychic, and soul. In other words, you are soul, body, and spirit. And you make one man. Not three. <coughs> See, this makes one tabernacle. See, this is, let's call it one, so you can understand, one body. See? Get the point? Now, the vessel then. See, we said a proton, a neutron, an electron. <coughs> Somebody said, well, now wait a minute. What about the cell? You see? All right. Now, what have you got in the cell? 
You got the nucleolus, the nucleus, and the cell body. So you haven't got nowhere. You haven't got away from it. Is that right? What are you? Body, soul, and spirit. You see? You see what I'm talking about? See? Now, this is what you got. And this is what we are saying to you. So you can see what we're talking about. Now, we're talking about every atomic particle of matter there is that makes up this universe. They say magnesium, silicon, and carbon, and that, that, that you carry on, you see, it makes up this universe. Then but one of them, and that's the hydrogen atom, <laughs> and it's three fold too. But you see, you can't see the last invisible counterpart, or the last invisible part of it, any more so than you can see pure spirit. It's that, but you can't see it. Ain't, nothing, ain't no instrument, ain't no fix enough to do it. You just can't see it. <laughs> see? Get the point. Now, I can put my hand on your head, but that's not on your mind. You see, that's your body. You get the point. Now, this is what we have done thus far. We have analyzed every bit of the atomic particles of matter that makes up this universe, we've analyzed. Mm -hmm. We took the cell, we took you, you understand, and we took everything. You see what I mean? Now look, now listen carefully. Do you recall that I said when I first got up here, see, that there wasn't any of them, what we haven't found any, that understood the Bible, Roman Catholics or Protestants. They haven't even under, understood the first sentence. Right. So, now that sounds bad. Mm -hmm. Now look, you re, you were reading in the 24th chapter, wasn't you? Mm -hmm. and that's why you read that 24th chapter. That's right. You see. Now you read uh, the 16th verse, I believe it is. And the glory of Yahweh. No, I decided to read the first and second verse. <laughs> and he said unto Moses. And he said unto Moses. Come up unto Yahweh. Come up unto Yahweh. Thou. Thou. And Aaron. And Aaron. Nadab and Abihu. Nadab and Abihu. And seventy of the elders. And seventy of the elders of Israel. And yes. worship ye afar off. And worship ye afar off. See? Is that what it says there? And read the next verse. And Moses alone. Listen here, folks. You listen to me, too. Get this thing straight. And Moses alone and by himself. <coughs> another man on earth. See? Now, that's the reason why I'm trying my best to tell you. You can't do nothing with it without a revelation. Right. That's see? And Moses alone. See? Now that means this. See? Did anybody try to Moses know everything about it? Mm -hmm. Now, man, see, get this straight. The high priest went into the most holy place once every year by himself and, if you please, alone. And Yahweh, you know, and told Moses, Aaron was the high priest. He said, listen, you tell your brother not to be running in and out here. All right. If he does, he's going to find a head. 
You see what I mean? Yeah. You don't do it that way. You see? Now you see what we're reading about? All right now. Read the 16th verse. And the glory of Yahweh uh, uh, about the ninth and tenth. And, and let's hurry, because I want to get out of the way. Then went up to Moses, and Aaron <laughs> made heaven up by you, and seventy of the elders of Israel. Uh, and they saw the Elohim of Israel. And they saw the Elohim of Israel. Now, now here's what, when you read the Bible, see, the majority of people don't have sense enough to realize, you see, that they're looking at a vision. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. See? Now, you just got to say and they saw the God of Israel, as you have it in your King James Version. Mm -hmm. Now you turn right over in the first chapter of John. And John says, no man at no time has ever seen God. Now you've got to step up the So in the smart ball that man, he was just breaking it up. Get the point? All right. And there was under his feet. And, and there was. Now listen. Now it describes it. And there was under his feet. As it were. Now he got feet. Yeah. All right, read. As it were a paved work of sapphire. As it was a paved work of sapphire work. And as it were the body. As it was a, the body. Of heaven and its clearance. Of heaven and its clearance. Now wait, now you said body. Mm -hmm. yeah. You said feet, and then you said body. See, read on. See if she can find out anything. And upon the nobles of the, and children, upon the, nobles of the, the children of Israel. The children of Israel. He laid not his hand. Now he's got a hand. <coughs> see? See that now? And yet he just wasn't seen in there at all, you see. Yeah. Don't look at these things. Yeah, yeah. The see? Get it? All right. Read on. And Yahweh said unto Moses, uh -huh. Come up unto me into the mount and be there. Uh -huh. And I will give thee tables of stone uh -huh. and a law and commandments which I have written, mm -hmm. that thou mayest teach them. Uh -huh. And Moses rose up uh -huh. and his minister... Now listen, and Moses. Now here's my catch is. Uh -huh. Here's another one of them catches. Mm -hmm. And Moses... See, now, now, now you're going to get arrested about this. But you just got to the uh, And Moses, and what? And uh, Moses rose up and his minister. Moses Joshua. rose up and his minister. Joshua. Joshua. See? Now, that properly should have been translated Joshua. See? Yeah. Now, I'd like to know where he's going. Now, get me straight now, so you don't overlook the thing. You remember he told you there in the second verse of the first chapter? said, Moses alone by himself come in this club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, where's Joshua going? <laughs> Said Moses, you understand? And, and what did he say to him? And Moses went up into the mountain mm -hmm. of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he said unto the elders. Now he said unto the elders. Tarry ye here. Now you, us. Uh, you wait here until we get back. We who? Me and Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Get that now? <laughs> until we get back. Now they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. See, what they done was went on back and built the golden cat. Mm -hmm. Now somebody said, well, now listen, I don't believe that. You see? Well, all right, let me, let me ask you this. If you don't want to buy that, you remember Joshua with a, a man walking around you. Him and Moses spoke. A man. See? No pants. Son of none. See what I mean? <coughs> oh, this, this, this boss I'm talking about, he's something else. You understand? See? Now, the point I want to get you to see is he rose up and told them to stay in the elders. You stay here till we get back. Yeah. Till Joshua and me get back. 
Now, if you told Moses to come in the cloud alone, now what I'm saying to you, what's God, where is God's way going? Get the point? See, there's a deep mystery. Yeah. Then somebody said, well, look, I don't believe that. All right, now you don't want to buy that. All right, then we just step right over here. There's the same Yahshua, the Messiah, right. walking around down here on the earth. Now, he said he come to fulfill that which was written by that. Isn't that right? Yeah. And didn't he take Peter and James and John up in the mouth and translate it to book? Yeah. Did he do that? Yeah. And if he didn't, that back there ain't no good. Right. Good point. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's read the, read the next verse. Now, now, I want you to catch this next verse. And don't forget, I told you, I haven't seen none, nobody, that understood this Bible. Read. And the glory of Yahweh. And the glory of Yahweh. Abode upon Mount Sinai. Abode upon Mount Sinai. And the cloud covered it. Now get days. this straight, folks. Get this straight. And the cloud covered it six days. Then what happened? And the seventh day. And the seventh day. He called unto Moses. Now listen here, Freddy. Ain't a thing said about what happened in the cloud during them six days. Is there anything there? Do you see it there? Yes, sir. Well, here's where the problem is. Here's why I said what I did. Moses took what he saw in the vision during them six days that he was in the mountain and put it in the first chapter of Genesis and said in the beginning and everybody thinks he's talking about in the beginning of creation. He's talking about in the beginning of this day. He told you what happened. In the beginning. God created the heaven and the earth and the earth without the form of the darkness upon the face of the deep and the spirit. God moved upon the face of the body. God said, let there be light and there was light. The evening and the morning was the first day. Is that right? Yeah. Now you talking about, you talking about going somewhere in the Bible. See, listen to this. Said the evening and the morning, that was the day. Well, it ought to never be night. That was the day. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. In other words, we just wasn't no <laughs> Now, somebody said, now, I don't believe that stuff either. Then John looked back at us. He said, I didn't see no night. You're all right. No he night. He said, I didn't see no night. <laughs> 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 didn't say. Now, we can tell whether Moses is lying or not. You see, Moses said, the earth is surrounded by what? Is that right? John was out on the Isle of Patmos. And don't you sit up here and tell me it's not surrounded by water. And I mean, it's still yet surrounded by water. You see? And he's looking back at what Moses said. See, in, in other words, the beginning of... Moses did, and the beginning of him got to be just alive. That's right. That's right. You see what I mean? Surrounded by one. Now listen here, folks. This is what you got. And then what I just said. Now you've got the first chapter of Genesis. <coughs> you see, and then you've got Revelation. And I ain't never seen nobody that's able to explain. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Back to back. That's why I said to you what it is. At all the big shots. I'm 73, going on 74 years old. <coughs> say, now I've been somewhere. You see? You get it? Now you see what I'm talking about? You see? Now look, let me show you just, just, just one or two more things here. Now the cloud covered it six days. Now what Moses did, see, he just put that right over. The vision that he saw of the creation of heaven and earth. Now look and watch this now. Do you remember that I told you, you understand, that the Adam 
with a proton, a neutron, and an electron. Do you remember that? Do you remember? I told you that you were new, psychic, and so on, or soul, body, and spirit. Do you remember? I told you that the, that the cell, it was threefold. Do you remember that? Do you remember I told you that this tabernacle was through threefold? Most holy place, holy place, and then out of court. Now watch, watch. I want you to read a verse from it now. Romans 1, 19 and 20, and I'll be right back into it. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now read it fast. Because that which may be known of Yahweh. Now because, listen, it's possible for you to know something. I'm not talking about no speculation. I'm not talking about no guessing. Or oh, feeling. I can all presume it. Yeah, yeah. You see? Say it. All right, read it. manifest in them. It's manifest in them. For Yahweh has showed it unto you them. You see, Yahweh showed it to us in a million. All right, read For the invisible now, listen. things of him. For the invisible things of him. From the creation of From the, the world, creation of the world are clearly seen. Are clearly seen being understood by being the understood made. by the thing that are made. Right. You can't argue you are made. An atom, a proton, electron. You understand? A tabernacle. Everything is made. All right, now. Mm. See? right from the creation of the world. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now here's what I want to show you that. Here's why I went to that. You know what you said from the creation? Right. See? Mm -hmm. Now look here, brother. See, each one of them names that Moses sings. Get this straight in that dish. They were divided up. All right. Just like that tablet. See? Yeah. God dividing the light from the dark. Yeah. He dividing the water from the world. The water from the yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You get to what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. He's doing all this design. You understand? Right there in the first chapter of Genesis. Yeah. I've never seen a preacher that's able to explain because he don't know nothing about it. He don't know nothing about the pattern. That's right. That's right. See, if it says in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, earth is out form, down form, place and heat. The spirit of God moved upon the earth. I want to know why it was like this. Well, I don't believe merely in God being the Lord in the potato of his body. He never even had a dream. <laughs> a real good hallucination or imagination. <laughs> That's right. And he ain't got out of the first chapter in the first sentence. Mm -hmm. See, he takes us in the beginning of the creed, and, uh, and yet it's the beginning of Moses' mm -hmm. See, he got that all twisted. See? And that's not the beginning of creation. Yeah. This is the beginning of creation. Yeah. When y'all they took on Satan, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's the beginning of creation. Right. Right. I don't agree with that either. All you have to do is read Revelation 3, 14. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? That's the beginning. <laughs> see, and listen. When God or Yahweh took on that same box, right that way he went out of being. That's right. <laughs> 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 And then you see, it was that form that Moses said. It was with that creed. You understand? Yeah. Do you see what I'm talking about? All right, read the rest of that verse. And then you pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. For the invisible things of him. For the invisible things of him. From the creation of the world. From the creation of the world. Are clearly seen. They're seen with all clarity. See? All right, read on. Being understood. Being understood. By the things that are made. Now here's everything in the universe is made up like that. All right, read on. Even his eternal power. Even his eternal power. And supernal nature. And supernal nature, all you have in your King James for the God here. So that they are without excuse. See, you ain't got no excuse for your stupidity and ignorance. That's right. None at all. But you know what's happened? You know what's wrong? The evidence is so conclusive and abundant. Yeah, you walk around and stumble 
but them that know all of it all the time, looking for something. You see? You see? Now let me say this. Now we're talking about the divisions. Now here you go. See? Now you put a golden can, put, put the, put the, put the, 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 uh, the offer of a sacrifice, put the labor, see? That's in the outer court. Then you put the golden candlestick in the table of shoe bread and the altar of incense. Right. Amen. Then you pass through this, uh, see, you pass through this door here, or the gate. There's the gate here, and here's the door here. And then you went into the most holy place where you have the Ark of the Covenant with the judgments of glory over the and the mercy seat and the commandments in the Ark. You see that now? Now, now? now, I don't have time to go into all this. I told you I, I want my brethren to say, and look, I got plenty of time. Yes. See, see, now look, here you are, all this is just compared. Yeah. See this golden candlestick, you have an A on it. This has seven branches on it. Mm -hmm. See, there's seven days in the week and there's seven ages. Yeah. You want to argue? <laughs> you see, and then you have an A on on your heart, around your heart. And it has seven branches to it, just like this. Mm -hmm. See? Now, they're just going inside of you now. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Then, you, here you got a table of shoe bread. See, and here you have a heart. You see what I'm talking about? You, you, you catch what I'm talking about? And, and it, that crown around it, that golden crown around it. See? You see what I'm talking about? And that blood being pumped and through this aorta and, and through the heart and lungs. You understand it, Trifle? Don't you know you got some lungs, don't you? Yeah. Don't you see this here thing here? The incessant. See? You understand? Now, we just could go in there. Somebody said, well, now here you are. You got a brain. Mm -hmm. See? And somebody said, I don't believe that stuff. That the children of Israel come out of the land of Egypt under a cloud. I think that's superstition. Mm -hmm. And here you are. You walk around under all time. You creep up brain. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, my thoughts get through your brain all the time. You walk around there, earn it all the time. Got your mouth gapped open and don't realize that you have a light and left in the right hemisphere of your brain. You see? And the spirit functions right to your mind. You see? You get the point? See? In the law of the spirit of life, typified by that. You see? Ain't that right? You see? Now the moderator said this while ago. You see, somebody said, well, I don't know about that. And as you go, sniffing at it. <laughs> see, that's what Dr. Hatt called it, see. <laughs> see? <laughs> if you would get, <clears throat> if you, you'd be saying this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see? <laughs> see, you just breathe here now. <laughs> see, every day. And somebody, because they don't breathe, deep enough, you know, and know that that's the breath of life. Mm -hmm. right. See, you just about half dead, mm -hmm. sniffing air. <laughs> you understand? See, that's the breath of life. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? Just like the way. <laughs> now, you see, when you go inside the tabernacle, in there, now listen, then you go right on the outside, and you got the man, you see? You got the cloud, it's a night, it's a day. You see? You got the man that come down every day. And you may have the intercession right down here with it. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I mean? Now, this really, this red sea part, and it went in there. Just like, you see, you come in the gate, in the, in the labor, in the door. See? Now, here, now watch. Here's the most holy place, the holy place, and the outer court. Here's the same thing. The outer court, the holy place, the most holy place. This is in the migratory kind. Of no difference in it. Now I told you that you went through this veil, this first veil. See? See? Here's get, 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 get the first veil. See, the Red Sea opened up. And they went home. See, and they stayed in here 40 years. They returned about it, and they went through the river Jordan. See that? One, two, three. One, two, three. Anywhere, I don't care where you want to go. You anywhere. You see, it just don't make no difference. See? Now listen, folks. That is pure, profound, 
irrefutable, unerring, infallible, accurate. See, no mistake. Yeah. That's the way it works. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And it cannot work any other way. All right. You understand? Now you, yourself, if you would take the 10th chapter of St. John and the 35th verse, I think, I ain't going to tell you to read it, never mind. See, uh, they called the Messiah, they got on him because, uh, you know, uh, he said uh, he was the son of God. Mm -hmm. He said, now how can you say that I blasphemed because I said I was the son? You understand? Didn't you never read yeah. over there in the song? Well, I said nothing went on over the head and right on up to the, up the road, and it's still traveling. <laughs> <laughs> See? Ye are not, no, ye are you. You understand? Now, then, how, how can you say I blessed him when I, I said that I was his son? <coughs> Do you see what I mean? <laughs> now, I just tried to give you a little smidgen of it. <laughs> see, just, just tried to give my brethren a little smidgen of it. But I will say this before I sit down. Now look, and listen. That operates from the creation and it's in operation all the way down. Right. Yeah. Even until now. Right. 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 You see? Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? And that investigates everything, its function, its operation. There's no excuse for your ignorance. Right. none for mine. <laughs> For the invisible things understood by the things that are made, yeah. even his eternal power mm -hmm. and God is. Right. You understand? Yes. Now, if that wasn't so, there's no need to argue about Yahweh judging in the world in righteousness. Mm -hmm. If it's all so obscure that can't nobody understand it, mm -hmm. see, he wouldn't be justified That's right. in judging the man mm -hmm. and then punishing him for all of his ignorance. If he hadn't made blade down plenty of preparation. You, me, right. and everybody else <coughs> right. I've given you some idea of the video. See? And not only that, they, let me say this before I sit down too. You see, all of this that you see back there, it's got to be fulfilled. Yeah, it is. You see? It's just got to be fulfilled. You see? Mm -hmm. That's what he is doing. That's what you call your New Testament. I haven't found nobody knows he wants a New Testament word yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. so you'd be surprised how stupid these people are. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Good education. <coughs> Got a DD and a PhD and a Master of Arts all tied up behind his name, and he ain't got out of the first verse and the first sentence in the Bible. That's right. You see? <laughs> and then he's talking, standing around talking about revelation. Said so ain't nobody understand that. You see? Well, I guess not. You see, because you don't understand the beginning of it. If you don't understand the beginning, how are you going to understand the end? See, when you declare the end from the beginning, if you don't understand the beginning, there ain't nothing you can do with it. That's right. See, and there's another thing you can't do. See, you can't come along and tell me something about your Baptist doctrine. See, and your Roman Catholic doctrine. Or any other doctrine. You see? And all the junk and all that you've got all messed up in it, and have it in such a way that I can understand with, uh, and practice the thing as you, as you, as you got it. You can't do that. Can't do now you know why you can't do it? Because you don't have no system to it. Right. That's right. That's right. See what I mean? Yes. They're always patching up something. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, that's right. Always patching. We ain't patching up nothing. Right. <laughs> you get the point? See? And then for me to try to go to school someplace and try to learn what you all are talking about in this Bible. Yeah, that's yeah. You see? Yeah. Then it's a matter of impossibility. How are you going to teach me something you don't know nothing about? <laughs> see? Then somebody said, well, look, uh, why don't you go out there and join the Roman Catholic Church? They're the first church, now that's a lie, too. The word church. Uh, means congregation or assembly. And here's the first one. Who, who's, who's talking? The Pope? Oh, no, beg your pardon. 
The boss himself is talking about that. And he introduced himself, too. He said, I am the Yahweh that brought you out of that. And he said, it's about it. Moses didn't know that to me. That's it. <laughs> Say, oh, I'll tell you. Now, I'm going to give you. <laughs> I'm going to give you. And now, we have until 11 o'clock. You see? Now, does anybody here wants to go home for any reason? I know there's some here that go to work at 10 o'clock. You see? And I know they have to go, see? Because they work at night. But I want to give my brethren plenty of time. See, say anything you want to say. You understand? And don't, 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 hold, don't hold back to me. Yes, you do. You see, you see what I'm wrong about something else? Hold up right in front of everybody. Not my. Thank <laughs> you. All right. Now, uh, I don't know what you mean, but introduce my beloved. Dear in Mass, uh, would you please come forward and introduce my beloved? And I want to say this. I demand your sincere and earnest, mm -hmm. careful, and please be quiet and give him your undivided attention. Mm -hmm. Very few minutes to say. Uh, the gospel has been preached here today. Yes, it has. There's just no question about it. And all of these erroneous and false doctrines and everything that's going on in the world and all over the world, they're really not found in the scriptures. Our Roman Catholic Church, one of the things that they had on the schema was this. Uh, it was an inter interrogative or question. Is the church ruled strictly by scripture? See, a lot of the things they do in the Roman Catholic Church, they don't claim that they in the Bible. That's right. They're just not there. And they just go ahead on and legislate and do what they want to do. But as we were coming to a school, we talked about <coughs> the doctor and how stubborn and stupid people really are. <coughs> One thing the Roman Catholic Church did teach is this, that whenever uh, one pope, it could not be rescinded by the oncoming pope or any pope after that. Uh, is that all? That's right. Now, Pope John the 23rd, Dr. Hess, will you put these names up here on the board for me? Uh, they said that Peter was the first pope, and Linus the second, and Cletus and Clement. <laughs> Now, you can go and pick up any Roman Catholic book, and uh, they will show you that. Now, down in this school, now we're going to tell you the truth about it. Now, Pope John the 23rd reached back in here and said, took one of these out, and said they were one and the same. Way back here. Now, read my true slide. That's right. Peter died a natural death. That's right. Now, somebody won't say, well, 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 who said so? Well, it's right in your book. Mm -hmm. 
You did. Now, then, the point I want to get you to show, to show you is, after Peter's decease, we wanted to know from the John, mm -hmm, yes. who lived to be on the Isle of Patmos and whom Yahweh yeah. the Messiah preserved his life. Why couldn't he be uh, the next pope? Mm -hmm. Since it was a partner, they went down to Samaria together. Now, folks, now this is, here's what I'm trying to tell you. Now, all these damn lies you've been told out yonder. Now, I meant that just like I said it, there ain't nothing else but damn or de destructive lies you've been told. Right. And they will destroy your soul. Right. Now, listen. You see, even yes, Pope Paul took about 40 of them idols out of there. Yeah. Right. See? Say nothing about Pope John. Pope Paul took about 40 of them out of there. Now, them people been baptized and they had them for their patron saints. You see? You get the point now? And still, them people are too bullheaded and stubborn, even after the papacy said itself, it was no good. Said you can't take our Saint Nicholas away from us in Saint Saint Clement. You understand? They're going on anyhow. See? Well, it's just not that way down here in this school. Now you see me every time uh, uh, I come down here, go out and guard you with me. See? Not because I'm afraid of anybody. That's right. And if I had been afraid, see, I never would have agreed to go to the Vatican. Right. October the 10th, 1960. Right. Right. That's right. <laughs> see? On top of all of that, you see, they come in, I need. They invited. They like to come. Right. Right. See? And they said that Pope John the Twenty Third was endorsed by God. And God just tolerated me. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, if that's the case. In 1961, on page 133 of your book, see, God evidently quit tolerating. <laughs> I told you God wouldn't further tolerate into June the 6th, 1963. Right. That's right. Now you can make up your mind about that. Now, this is what I'm trying to get at. See, now down at this school, we're going to tell you the truth. Now this is a school, not a church. And it isn't ruled by any tradition. I want to make it clear. Yeah. Yeah. See? <laughs> I'll tell you this. All right. It isn't ruled by the scriptures either. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought it was, but it's not. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. See? Why did you say that? 
because all of the interpolations and mistranslations that are uh, stipulated in your book. It's ruled by the Holy Spirit. Right. All right. <coughs> and natural misconceptions and your misinterpretations of, the, of the, what's written in the Bible of the Spirit. Right. Now look, I want you to know this now. All scripture that is given by the Holy Spirit. Oh, man, you better read that. See, these people just go around, just, they just deny everything the book says. First Timothy. And then another thing, too. Here's another, here, here's another place where they got you just hung, snuggled, and hung up by your thumb. Not only robbing you of your money, but robbing you of your soul. Now, listen at what I'm saying. They want you to be both Protestant and Catholic. They want you to believe that the preacher in the pulpit. That's right. See? Is the mediator between Yahweh or God and man. Yeah, that's right. And they also in the room at the church want to see if I'm there. And praying to Mary. Mm -hmm. See? Now, the reason why they hunt me, the reason why they threaten my life, and we've got letters in our file where they threaten my life. See? You get the point? Mm -hmm. Now they've killed millions. Murdered millions. They don't deny. Say, what do you do that for? Say, in defense of the church. See? See it now? Murdered six million Jews. See, was the cause of Hitler being Chancellor of Germany. And his case, Hitler's case, had to be appealed to Pope Pius the left and to settle who became Pope uh, Pius the XII, yeah. mm -hmm. signed the Concordant, otherwise Hitler could not have been and Chancellor, That's right. That's Chancellor right. of Germany. That's, That's, right. Right. That's, That's right. right. That's his right. See? Now look, folks, I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't have to get I know what's going on all over the world. See? And you got the ground on me. <coughs> and listen, I can't, I look right down the barrel, doesn't it? Sure, right. Yes, sir. See? And I've had a knife right at my throat. Right. And I've been beat up bodily. <laughs> See? But I'm going to tell you the truth. Right. See? See that now? Now, look. When Messiah was here, <coughs> he came in the world specifically. Ain't no man take his daughter. Right? Mm -hmm. No, sir. See? Uh, uh, he came in the world for specifically for that purpose. Right. He died to redeem or to restore the world back unto unto uh, unto God. Right. <laughs> that was in the purpose, and that was in the plan. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Didn't could nobody crucify him. That's <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> That's right. Now you see, when we come down here to tell you the truth about that, see, then you want to knock somebody out. 
But guess what I was going to tell you. All right. See, that was his turn. All right. He took his turn. Now, listen, you better let me alone. See, now if you don't know who I am, <laughs> you try one of them stunts. It won't take long to find out. Now that's the reason why these boys with me, is with me. You see, it's for the protection of the fellow that don't believe. See? Spare you a few more minutes. Right. Yes, sir. See? Right. You're not gonna hang me out there on that on that tree no more. All right. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Now you don't you don't have to believe that. You don't have to believe it at all. Now let me tell you something about it. Dr. Dennis went through here and told you what was a false prophet and what was the truth according to the scripture. Right. Right? right. Now listen, I have been teaching just what did you hear me teach? Uh, For 38 years, right. I was caught up to heaven itself. And for 38 years of my life, I've been telling you by my watch on my arm what's going to happen all over the world. And I tell you that if it don't happen like I tell you, don't come back down here no more because right. there won't be no school. Sure right. done that. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to shoot me for that, mm -hmm. help yourself. Yeah. See? It's born. Yeah. Yeah. Earthquakes. Right. Mm -hmm. I told you when they would happen. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. We stand our books over in Israel to Ben Gruen. Mm -hmm. Ben Gruen jumped down. Yes, it did. You're having an awful problem mm -hmm. with communism, so you say. <laughs> we said, oh, good. Can you see the Khrushchev? Mm -hmm. And Khrushchev jumped down. You sure did. That's right. <laughs> We sent our book to Pope John the 23rd and told him when he was going to die. Mm -hmm. And he did. That's right. That's right. You see? I told you that John F. Kennedy would be nominated, elected, and assassinated. He's dead. Right. You want to argue? I told you that Russia would get the secret of the atomic bomb. Mm -hmm. They said, no, it's guarded in the Pentagon 24 hours a day. <laughs> Did they get it? Did they get it? Right. <laughs> I told you there'd be an earthquake in Atlanta on the 27th of March. Yes. Did it happen? Yes, it did. I told you that the stretcher would be on the bottom of the ocean right. on the 10th day of April. Was it that? Right down there. You see? Been doing that for 38 years. 
to carry it on back a little further and show you how it even affect the king and queen. Right. Roosevelt. Right. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. <laughs> I told you all about the Second World War before it come up. Is that right, Dr. Rose? That's right. You were that man. You were the only man I know of that was there at that time. That is here. There's plenty of them back there. Yeah. Uh, he said, no, he can't be the elected. Last time in Russia, I I told you he would be elected, nominated, elected, but he would not be in the White House. Sorry. One year from that day, check your records. All right. I told you MacArthur was going to have to come out. Sure did. <laughs> those eyes down there. Did he come out? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. They come out. I've just been standing around here telling you the history of the world for 38 years. You ought to be able to catch me in a lie in 38 years. Yes. People that have been res resurrected from the dead. Yes, Got the doctor mm -hmm. and the patient. Right. That's right. right. Yes, sir. Right. Every kind of thing. Now, folks, we're not kidding down here. Right. Yeah. See? It's do or die. Yes. You see what I mean? Now you've come down to the close of this age. You don't have no whole lot of time to find out now. You know anything about the truth. You just don't have it. Now if it's been nearly 2,000 years and they haven't found out yet and got straightened out and reconciled, <coughs> You see, why should you think that you're going to run in and drop down and run out and you've got this thing all cased? You see what I mean? That's right, Doc. You know that? Hi, what, uh, what about that school down there? Said, oh, there ain't nothing to it. How do you know? Said, well, I was down there. And we're just sure to tell you something you don't believe. Mm -hmm. right. Read this from the uh, uh, second all scripture. No, I want to have uh, First Timothy two five. Now here's what I'm talking about. You see, now I'm talking about how they want you to think that the preacher is a go between or mediator between you and God. And then the Roman Catholic, they got married, got you planning to marry. Right? And nobody ever called itself plan a prayer to marry. Ever did have the Holy Ghost. Nobody did that. Nobody never does that. <laughs> All right. See? So the Holy, Holy Spirit don't teach it that way. Amen. Said the Holy Spirit makes these sessions for us. According to the purpose of Yahweh. That's in the Bible. I mean, everybody's Bible. See? All right. Now let's see what let's see whether that's right or not. For one is Yahweh. For well, one where you read. First Timothy two five. First Timothy two five. See? Mm -hmm. Now then that's gonna make you go back over yonder. In the ninth chapter of Daniel. And twenty six and twenty seven. But I want to read. I want to get this notion out of your mind with painting these hypocrite preachers. See, the lie you can tell you ever kind of a lie and rob you of your soul and your money too. See, and what little bit you can even go down here to the relief and beg. Yeah, right. They expect you to turn part of that in to support the church. See, for one is Yahweh. 
All right, three. And one mediator between Lee. Trump and Trump. Lee, one mediator. All right. Mediator means a go-between. All right. Between what? Between him and me. All right. Who is that? Man, Yahshua the Messiah. Not supposed. No. No, no Mary. No. Your pastor. That's the only mediator you got between Yahweh and me. The Joshua the Messiah. And all the rest of them ain't doing nothing to just tell you a damn lie. That's right. That's right. Now put it like I put it. Right? See, I want it to sound off. Right. Sound so sound so bad. Right. Until you start and give it some consideration. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. The word damn just means destroy. That's true. That's all it means. And that's what's going to happen to you if you don't pay some attention. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, read, read, read down there. Read down there. Daniel 9, 26. Now, here's Daniel 9, 26. Translated correct and right. All right. And after three score and two weeks. And after three score and two weeks. Shall Messiah be cut off. Shall Messiah be cut off. Without a successor to follow him. Now listen, Phil was no successor. He didn't follow. Question, why? Because he resurrected from the dead. And he's taking care of the situation himself. Then who is Peter? Who is Paul? They're just ministers by whom you can eat. Right. 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 And see, if you just have to, we can read it. Right. Right. See? And they say, well, you're just not too rough a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you wait till you wait last what? That's right. You just wait last what? That's right. That's right. You, right. you won't have to wait long either. That's right. All right. You see that now? You're going to lose your soul. If you don't take heed, and if you don't pay attention. Now listen, I wanted to tell you about the scriptures too. See, now all scriptures, see, now not tradition. See, it ain't no good. See, all scriptures that is given by the inspiration of Yahweh. What is it good? Read it. It's profitable for doctrine. Now listen, it's profitable for doctrine. Agreed? For reproof. Now listen, if you want to get corrected and straightened out. Mm-hmm. See? A lot of people don't want to be reproved. Mm-hmm. I've been hanging on to this all, all my life and I was born in this thing. You see? But they don't believe, they don't believe what the book says about it. They better believe what the devil says. See? All right. For correction. Now it's for reproof. And for correction. And for interrupt. Hold it. We just made one correction. See? One of them corrections were, see, Mary and, and nobody else. And the apostles, nobody else. There's no mediator between Yahweh and man. None but the man. Right. See? That's something to think about, ain't it? Now, look, let me show you something. Now, he was shown, <coughs> you see, a knack. Raised the quickening spirit. Right. Now that quickening spirit 
is Joshua the Messiah in you. Yes. And that is what it is that makes the intercession or the practice yes. for you. Listen now. According to the purpose. Right? That's right. <laughs> See? And none of them prayers go miss. Because it's according to the purpose. To the purpose. It never fails. Never goes unanswered. You see what I'm talking about? All right, but if finish reading this. And we'll for go. instruction. And for instruction in righteousness. That the man of Yahweh. That the man of Yahweh may be perfect. Now, we're talking about the mm -hmm. scripture. That the man of Yahweh might be perfect. Thoroughly furnished. Now listen. Thoroughly furnished. He don't need no tradition. <laughs> <laughs> See, thoroughly furnished. Is that right? Unto all good works. Unto all good works. Do you see what I mean? Now, folks, let me say this in conclusion. You see, now we tell you all the time to come back here to the law of Moses and to the prophecies. Now, if you're not going to do that, that's what the scripture is. That's right. In the true divine etymological sense of the word, that is the scripture. That's right. From Genesis to Malachi. That's right. I just cut it up short. See, the first five books is the law of milk. And from there on over to Malachi is the testimony. You see what I mean? Now you're either going to have to buy that yeah. or lose your soul. Right. Be done. That's right. Do you see what That's I mean? That's right. And somebody says this, look, 550 million people belong to the Roman Catholic Church. 550, that's actually 61. 550 million people can't be wrong. <laughs> see? You see the power? And Jehovah's Witnesses here the other day asked me, how many you got in your... In, in your church, in your mm -hmm. I ain't got none. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. See, and then if you want to count it in the congregation, some of them, David said, you understand, I wouldn't guarantee you everybody's even here to be in it. That's right. That's right, <laughs> Sure. And that's regardless of their seniority, too. That's right. All right. That's, that's right. right. You see what I mean? All right. That's the truth. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You see, no, people look at 550 million. Well, now, let me tell you something. They say 500, a whole lot of people like that can't be wrong. Mm -hmm. But now, if you look in that's the 12th correct. chapter of Revelation, you <laughs> find that that opens first. You see, it's tail through the third part of the star of heaven. Okay. <laughs> now, there's no computer or there's no adding machine. All right. <laughs> that's able to uh, add up how many there. Most and his tail drew a third part of the stock mm -hmm. in heaven. Now that's better than 550 million. That's right. <laughs> and all them were wrong. They were cast out of heaven. That's right. You heard me. Right. 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 Yes, sir. Ever how many? Uh, see, a third part of the stars were. That, that's how many. <laughs> was wrong. Did you see what I mean? Now, folks, uh, uh, the reason why I've tried to prevail with your soul is on this account. Now, we told you these days that come up, you see, like the sixth day of June, mm -hmm. when back here the Holy Spirit was poured out. It won't be the sixth day at this time, mm -hmm. in this cycle, you see. But it, 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 it all it does, it just repeats itself mm -hmm. over and over and over and over 
And if you understand the function and operation of that pattern, see, that pattern is Elohim. That is Yahweh Elohim. Now listen to what I'm going to say. Then you cannot err. You can't make no mistakes. You see? Because it operates, listen, just like the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. See, it did that yesterday. It did that today. And it did that tomorrow. It will never fail. You see what I mean? It's a universal spirit law. It's infallible. That's right. It's accurate. <coughs> it's unerring. And if you know and understand how it functions, see, and Yahweh will reveal it to you. Now, you just, just can't drop you down and sit down and chew gum and bat your eyes and look around, you understand, and then pay attention once in a while and look around and see whatever. You have to sit there and you have to make sure you listen and be willing to take this chastisement in the correction uh, by the Holy Spirit. You see what, you understand what I'm talking about? That's what you have to do. You have to want to know. As the prophet said, you will know as you go on to know. You have to, now you can't fool Yahweh. You see, uh, you can't fool God. You see, he knows the thoughts even before they enter into your mind. That's right. And listen. That's okay. oh, he's already done the plan to end from the beginning of all that was all of it. <laughs> Ain't nothing happening out of harmony with his purpose. Not a thing. You see what I mean? Yeah, but people talking about getting the war stopped in Vietnam. Ain't no problem for him. No, indeed. You're going to stop the whole thing for the children. You see what I'm talking about? Right. And the reason why I brought that up, you can't tell what it's going to be in June. Right. You see? That's right. Pentecost, I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You can't tell what it's going to be the 15th of July, right. Feast of Tabernacles. I'm talking about days now. Mm -hmm. You can't tell whether it's going to be the 10th day of October That's when right. the high priest went in to the most That's holy right. place yeah. on that day. You can't tell whether right. it's going to repeat or not, right. and he's going to come out of there. You see what I'm talking about? Or he's going to be revealed from heaven? Right. You see what I'm talking about? Now, the best thing for you to do, since you see all these right. religious cults and sects and creeds mm -hmm. and denominations, you understand? You see? Instead of you walking around talking about which one of them right, yeah. You better try to do something for your own sake. That's right. That's right. For your own That's sake. Right. In your own sake. That's and right. if mom and papa, the book mm -hmm. told you, mom and papa, there's going to be division between daughter and and and, 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 right. and mother. Yes, you see what I'm talking about? That's right. You see? Talking about getting excommunicated from, mm -hmm. from the church. Mm -hmm. See, ain't nobody can put you out of church. Okay. Now, and there ain't nobody can put you in there. It, uh, the first, uh, 12 chapter of 1st Corinthians 13 verse, that by one spirit are we all baptized into the one body. That's it. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Is that right, Dr. That's, uh, yes, see? that's correct. And this wetting and damping you up in these old traditions and customs and ignorance and superstition and folly and foolishness that these people yeah. have gotten around here in the Roman Catholic Church and Protestant Church. Yeah. You understand? You ain't going to do a thing but lose your soul. And your money too. Now I tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Now I don't care what you do about it. Somebody right. gets mad to well, I'm not, I'm going away. I ain't coming back anymore. Well, you can go to hell if you want to. Right. That's right. That's right. You see? That's right. Yes indeed. Nobody said, Well, I'm a Baptist bread and I'm a Baptist born, and when I die I'll just be a Baptist gone. See, all that old funny stuff. You just get on down to bed. Know Yahweh for yourself. Yes, sir. And as Peter put it, see, save yourself yes, from this on to regeneration. You know all these hypocrite preachers in our chair. You know that as well as I do. So you start to look around and save your own soul. Mm -hmm.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Dr. Kenley. Now, at this time, the Charlotte, North Carolina Bible class would like to thank all of our brethren, visitors, and friends for taking the time to come and study with us tonight and hope you will come back to study with us again. Our class is held every Monday at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Zoom participant, please remain muted until the host has ended our YouTube broadcast. We will conclude tonight's class with the doxology taken from the last two verses in the book of Jude. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua the Messiah, our Sovereign, belong glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all time and now and ever. Let the class say, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.